Salam, salam. What up, guys? We're back again today. And today we have a special guest. Yo, it's the queen, Nana. Nana, what's up, y'all? What's good? What's poppin'? What's up? What's up? Word. Say what's up to all your Ghana people out there. Oh, so all my Ghanians, what's good? What to say? Watch over this, Nana. I'm a minimum down for you. Um, video B. Yeah, we did the and yeah, yeah, snack. So basically, I just said me and my friend about to eat some snacks and oh, stuff. So, okay, I like it. I yeah. like how you rub me. You real hip hop right now. You love me. You like you gonna get this? You know what I'm saying? But yo guys, exactly. But yo guys, today we're going to be trying Ethiopian and Eritrean snacks. Have you ever tried anything? You better say no, even if you have, because I need you to. No, no, I actually haven't. No, <laughs> I'm just. Well, playing. I lied. I had the not their snack, but I forgot that flat. Um, and Jer? Yeah, that we, I, had, I had that before. That's the only thing else, but I never had the stuff because you know he into all that stuff. So. Yeah, I love I love Injera. You know what I'm saying? I grew up with Injera. You know my uncles and my aunts and eating Injera. Um, you know, and so yeah, but Injera is actually more so. Some people do eat it as a snack. I I want to say there's a lot of like different little like breakfasts that I want to get into eventually, like Ethiopian and Eritrean breakfasts. Mm. I'm actually learning a lot more. There's different tribes and different ethnic groups, and sometimes they have different foods that are not pushed to the world like injera is you know mm, what i'm saying okay. so like in southern ethiopia certain places there are different tribes that have like traditional food and eventually i want to get to trying that as well okay well i'm here exactly my stomach's here exactly let's okay get, not not ready yo let's nah, get nah. A pop it's food okay? it's food okay so the first thing guys <laughs> we're gonna try is sambusa. sambusa yo sambusa that one's yours thank you sorry for touching it but yo only a king can touch a queen's food right exactly I'm a nurse, so I'm kind of a German food. So it's I'm okay. so sorry. I'm she's not, a nurse. She's a nurse. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, so, sorry. I'm just saying. No, she's like, I hate it's you. Hard, now. It's hard being a German food as a nurse, but you you have to. But go ahead. I promise I washed my hands before. My parents always taught me to do that. He's a boy. Exactly. Boys Yo, boys are not hands. nasty. I ain't got no girlfriend either. You ain't got to worry about boys my hands being nowhere. Hands. You know what I'm saying? You got boys about... always got toilet tissue left, but they always got soap left in the bathroom. They always got I'm toilet... a clean boy. They got, they got toilet paper and like what's that? Um, paper towels always in stock. True. Than us. But so... I'm a but I'm a clean boy. I promise. We'll I'm see. not like If the I don't rest. get seated, then I'll be fine. Exactly. So, yo, now we're going to get back to the sambusa. So, mm -hmm. now we're going to try the sambusa. I want you to tell me, this is a veggie sambusa, right? It smells good. It is really good. And you know I'm vegan, guys. So, this is a veggie sambusa. I'm not vegan. So, you're not vegan? Well, you're going to have to get on the bandwagon today. I was vegan for three months, but I'm not vegan. But this is good. I feel like it's going to be good. It looks good. It looks it's gonna crispy. Be good. You ready? Mm-hmm. On three. One, two, three. Mm-mm-mm. What's in it? Mmm. Chickpeas. And I think potato. Huh. Oh, yeah, I think it's a potato. Yeah. They seasoned it pretty well. And, like, it's good. It tastes like Taco Bell when you get a bean burrito. Oh! Mmm. Mm -hmm. It does taste like that. It's very delicious. The seasoning actually. is on point, though. I ha I've had um the beef and chicken sambusa. I have friends who are. Um, Somalian, mm -hmm. so we, uh, they make these all the time. And for me, being Ghanaian, we have meat pie. Yeah, what is that? Is that remind you of a meat pie in Ghana? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so it reminds me of, like meat pie. It's literally just oh sorry, it's, okay. it's just like stuffed. And then like, yeah, this is basically this. There's another, another thing but I forgot what it's called, but this is what it reminds me of. But I love these. It's like yeah, because I think these are these are man. If I could have like thirty of these, like when I'm out, like this is such good energy as protein. Oh, also I think there's like some kind of green like maybe onions. Probably green onions, because you know, Africans, onions is a main dish for everything. So, if you ain't got onions, then your food probably ain't gonna be good. Right. Sorry, guys, I'm hungry. And this is delicious. The, I feel like, you know how they have crab rangoons? Mmm! It does like, remind you of crab rangoons. But I'm like, I'm trying to think of a sauce that go with it. Because I'm like, I want I, I'm a saucy person, so I like to dip stuff with stuff. Mm. But I don't, I don't know. If you ask one of your friends if they if there's something that go with this. I will. I don't think that there is. Mm. But you can always put a sauce with it. There might be. There might be. My lipstick won't be gone by the end of this video. Yo, I'm not hungry, so if you don't want to finish it, I will. No, I eat it. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh. <laughs> you need water or you need tissue? Yeah. What you need? Oh, tissue right here. Yo, guys. I really like sambusas because Thank there you, you go i'm such a boy right i really like sambusas because i feel like it gives you protein it's a very very like good snack on the go for real it could be a meal throw some rice in that yo you killing the game you got like like six of them 
seven of them. That, it could be a mill. Look at you. Only a woman. Yo, I'm just like, I'm sorry. I'm so like a <laughs> brute. I'm like a nomad. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> give me the food. I was so hungry. I'm so sorry. No, I like it. Does it really, <laughs> does it remind you of, does it, let me, come on, Johannes, get it together. Does it really remind you of like a, a meat? You, you you said in Ghana they call it what? A meat pie? Yeah, they have meat pie. Meat pie? But it's not fried. It's baked. It's baked? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's the difference, though. Because I think even in Jamaica, oh, they have... Oh, some spice in there. Okay, I like spice. We all like spice, you know what I'm saying? I think all people of African descent love spice. I love spice. I got some cousins that don't like spice. They don't? They don't like pepper. They're not black. <laughs> they don't. I'm, they, just they, they don't. They I'm just don't. playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I like spice. No, don't fall. Yeah, we're going to let Nana We're gonna let Nana finish up her, her joint. So it reminds you of that in Ghana. I like that. It also reminds me of, like, um, Jamaican... Meat patty. Meat patty. Beef patty, beef patty, pork yeah. patty, chicken patty, mm -hmm. veggie patty. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of that. That's why it's funny that like there's so many different African cultures around the whole world, black cultures around the whole world in the Caribbean that have food that's very similar, you know what I'm saying? And I know this is more of like a Mediterranean food, you know, it's the Mediterranean area, so like a lot of North Africa, East Africa, Southern Europe, and the Middle East, you know what I'm saying? You know, Mediterranean food doesn't just have to be European or Arab food, it can be like African food, anywhere within that Mediterranean region, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yo, look at you! What? You loving your... Look at Nana! <laughs> she, I thought I was a brute. You're like, you just in there like, why? You know what I'm saying? Sorry. I got some in there. That was good, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, word. Yo. Yo, guys. So, that was Sambusa. So, what would you give the Sambusa... Uh, actually, I'm gonna let you get some water in your mouth. Let's get... Come on, let's get some water in our mouth. I don't know why this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay. So since you got some water in your mouth, and after you swallow, sorry, I'm just like so excited to have you here. She's like, I'm trying to chew. I'm trying to chew. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to chew. <laughs> I'm sorry. I give it a, this one, they got spicy now. I'm like, if it had some chicken, it would have been like a 10. I give it a 9. 9 out of 10? Mm-hmm. Hey! Yo, Nana! <laughs> it was good. Yo, my Ethiopian reaching people, we out here representing. Yo, she liked it. She liked it. It was good. I like spicy food, and I like, like, hefty food. And like I said, I had it before, but mm -hmm. I never had just the veggie one. Yeah. So, this is still good. If you, even if you're trying, like, the whole plant-based thing, yeah. that was good. It was really good, you, right? If you had, like you said, you had some rice, yeah. you done. You Kill had some sauce, mm -hmm. you good. You killing the game. All right. Hey. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I appreciate that, Nana. Not nine out of ten. I personally would say 10 out of 10 because, and I'm not being biased because I'm vegan, but I sort of am. Yo, it was delicious. I literally could have like 10 of those and I would be, be straight. Cool. I'd be straight. You know what I'm saying? I want a burp, but I don't want a burp. It's okay. Live your best life. Yo, <laughs> T'Challa understands. I was going to say, that's a dope shirt. Oh, this shirt yeah. is from, um, who got it? Um, Put it up, like sit up a little bit higher. Oh, sit up higher. Yeah. This, this is from... Black dope, Panther. Yeah, it's from Kid, but I for, forgot. I think it's Dope Kid something. I'll send him the link, or I'll yeah. send him to people. They're on Instagram. They got dope shoes. I got another one. Um, I got under Thor. My link. Yeah, I got they got Thor, and they got um, what's his name with the with the wrist with the with the guy from um. Oh, shit. Iron Man. No, the shoot Thanos. Oh, Thanos. Yeah, oh, got, oh, with the yeah. Yeah, but, so oh, fly kids everywhere. That's what it is. Okay. Fly kids everywhere. That's I'm where a, I got it from. I'm gonna put that in my uh, in Link my bio, bio. down there so you yeah. guys can check out the shirt. Yo, Wakanda forever. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You, you gotta. You, it's this this way. Show me. This, yeah. This, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Hey, you already know what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But on to the next food, mm -hmm. and we have dates. Dates. Yeah, dates. What's dates, up? Dates, dates. So, oh, you can pick one out if you would like. Thank you, sir. I would. I'm gonna pick one out. Now, what do you think about dates in general? Coming from West Africa, date capital is what Morocco and and, and a couple of places like around that area. Do they do they do they produce dates in Ghana? I don't know. I don't know. We got mad exports and imports. I'm not sure. Right. We're gonna have to call the the export import guy from Ghana. Like, yo, like the big dog. We got cocoa though. Second, oh, everybody number loves two. cocoa. We're number two in the world. I love cocoa. Number two. We produce number two. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And I love cacao, right? Cacao mm. seeds, ca cocoa. I did a video about that. Oh. But what what do you think about dates in general? Like when you look at it, do you look at it like it's a raisin? <laughs> it's like a, a, a big raisin to me, mm -hmm. which is a grape. 
I don't like raisins. You don't like raisins? I love raisins, but I don't like raisins. It's like how I like cucumbers, and I don't like pickles. I don't know. It was okay. So what we're gonna do right now? <laughs> so this is how we're gonna do this one, right? We're gonna okay. put the whole date in our mouth and eat it. I know, I know. Bear with me. And then after that, we're gonna do half a date. <laughs> Guys, don't get no nasty ideas, women. Okay. Go ahead. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Go. One. Okay. It's smooth. It's smooth? I mean, like, it's smooth, like, it's not like, you know? Um, what is this like to me? You know how, okay, especially the whole ones, mm -hmm. they got skin on the outside, it's kind of dry. Mm -hmm. But it's not like bad dry, it's like flaky, yeah, it's flaky. Flaky dry, I'm glad mm -hmm. you said that. It's like flaky, so, but the inside, it's not like um. Keep talking, uh, I'm gonna show them. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to get the texture. Like, okay. What is like this? It's yeah. like, it's, not, it's thick. Have, just have a half. I'll eat the half. You don't have to eat those things if you don't like it. I don't want to hear your rating yet, but I want you to. You still got some in your mouth? Yeah, I told you it's thick. <laughs> oh, it's thick. Like, if I was making. Like, I would make a paste out of this mm. by just processing it. I was waiting like for that. that. Mm. So, these dates. A lot of people use them for cooking as well. Mm. So you can, you know, like use them to cook things, right? But dates also have like very, very good um, health benefits. So they have like iron in them. They you have need like- some iron, cause this dude always cold. I'm always cold. I have a meat, I'm a real black person for real, cause I'm always cold. Today is too cold for me. It's like 62 degrees, but it's too cold for me, you know? For my guy, he needs, oh, he had quantum rescue power. You need some spinach stew. It's going to help you. I know. I love spinach stew. That's, what, yo, he need. That's what he needs. Look at this Ghana girl right here. I love it. So let me ask you this. What do you give the dates? Zero out of ten. By itself? By itself. I'm not really a big date person either, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? But mid Middle Eastern people and East Africans in Mediterranean, they love dates. They, they live off of dates. Yeah. My, I have a cousin that he loves dates so much. I'm not really a date person, but I actually, I don't mind them. Me either, I don't mind them. I give them like a six. A six out of ten? A five. By itself. Five by itself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say me being vegan too, that goes in there a little bit. I would say I give it like a six out of ten. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily something I'm gonna go back for. But if I had to eat it, I wouldn't be mad. Yeah, you can use that as a sugar like a candy alternative. A sugar alternative. Yo, yo, oh, I got it. Y'all mm -hmm. yeah, okay. I don't know if you you know those um bars that's like that one was sort of It's spicy. like a fruit bar. Fruit bar? You ever seen a fruit bar? Mm -hmm. Like, it's just like kind of low-key dehydrated jelly-like bar. Oh, That's yeah. what this tastes like. Like, yeah. if you ever had like a, you seen those fruit bars mm -hmm. like they have without like any like granola around it, it's just like a thin layer of just like ah, the fruit. That's what this tastes that's like. That's what it, it you're And right. it's like, it's not one specific, it don't remind you of one specific fruit, mm -hmm. but it's like, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. But not mad sweet that you go about. Oh, it's too much sugar. But this yeah. is like, this is like. Oh, I, I got. I need some sugar. And you try to be healthy. I will reach for this because I the chocolate one is better. But I never just eat the regular. Food. But also, if you're a nomad, like let's say you're in the far tribe in northern Ethiopia or Eritrea, mm -hmm. if you're walking through the desert, this can give you sugar, energy. I can see. Mm -hmm. I can see why people eat it. You know what I'm saying? Just like watermelon. Just like watermelon, yo. <laughs> new, new, a new black thing. You got like watermelon and dates. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Actually, might be something. Word. Yeah. Okay. Don't take my idea out here. Nah, nah. Okay. Okay. So that was dates, guys. So we're going on to the next thing. Oh, I know you guys know this, especially if you're from Ethiopia, Eritrea. I know you guys know this, and we're going to go to it right now. Okay, guys. We're on to the last thing of this beautiful adventure of snacks, right? And this last thing that we have that we're gonna try is kolo, right? So kolo is interesting because I've actually never had kolo. You've never had kolo, right? I'm yeah, trying to say that I have such an don't, American you don't, accent. You don't know my life. So my life, you never know, you know, that's I'm very, very various in my palate. That's very true. Have you, have you had, had it? Exactly. <laughs> no, why, why? 
Yo, wait, wait. Yo, sisters just want to be combative. Like, yeah. you never know what I yeah. did in my life. You don't life. know my life. You don't know who you I know, am. You, know, you don't know my life. Right, right. But this I'm is, ready for that one. This is Kolo, and let me give you a little backstory. Kolo is eaten usually in a Buna ceremony, so which is a traditional Ethiopian Eritrea coffee ceremony, right? So you drink Buna, then you eat this. Some people eat popcorn. But this is Kolo, right? I have it. My accent's probably so horrible. They're going to be like, you have such what, what, what's, what's the language that you used to... In America. Oh, okay. Yeah. Called Kolo. So, uh, this is that. What does this remind you of, first of all? It reminds me of those wheat cereal. The wheat cereal. With the frog on it. Yeah, with the frog on it. What do they call like wheat, wheat crisp? Not wheat crisp. What is it called? Golden crisp. That, that's Golden right. crisp. That sounds right. It reminds you of golden crisp. It looks like, a, you know how they look like coffee beans, but they, they, they lighter. Exactly. Yeah, that's what they look like. Exactly. Now, I'm going to give you, we're going to eat it the traditional way. So, I'm going to pour it in your hand. And put too much because I don't want to get stuff stuck in my teeth. But when you do it traditionally, okay, let me pour it first. Oh, it's all there's the sort of hands gonna be like left handed. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. let me do it this way. I'm doing it left hand though. Sorry guys, I'm part of me might be from Ghana, but <laughs> one of the tribes when I do my DNA test. But uh, until then, they're gonna be mad at you. Until about then, you know right, they're gonna mad at you. Okay, I'll do the right hand. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It might be from one of them tribes. Who knows? You okay. Know uh, so so this is Kolo, right? Oh, it smells good. How, how do you? What do you think about it? Like the smell? What do you think about it? It has like a very nutty, grainy smell, right? I'm trying to remember what it smells. It just put a memory. Oh my gosh! It just dropped one. <laughs> I'll remember once I eat it because you know smell and taste brings back memories. So it, exactly. Now let me tell you this before you eat it. It's sort of on the harder side. Okay. So you ready? And this is how you eat it traditionally, like this. You, your hands up like this, and you I, mean, like I feel like I'm about to eat it like a like a like a real. We know with the Skittles, you be like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you ready? On three. Yeah, just put it all of it. Call up for the first time. Yeah, all, all of it. it. Oh, okay. All it right. doesn't necessarily have to be all of it, but I, I'm, I'm like, I don't want to choke because I'm always scared of choking. Okay, ready? One, one two, two, three. three. Hmm. Hmm. I got it. Mmm. You got it? Mm-hmm. So tell me what you... You got a frame, girl. Tell me what you initially think about Kolo. I can't. <laughs> Not yet. Can you pause this part? Like, mm -mm. No? <laughs> this is how it is, girl. Mm -mm. It takes a minute to crush this goodness. I know. You can drink water with it, too. Let's have a little water before we describe what it tastes like. I see why this will good, do good with coffee because they don't have no sugar, no salt, or nothing. Exactly. So if you add that with your coffee, you have that. Take a little sip and we'll talk about it. I can't. Regroup yourself. I got, I got some big, big parts, so. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Take you, have you a drink? Why are you forcing me to drink? No, I'm not. No, I'm not I, 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 I don't want you to choke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you over there like, it's so hard to chew. All right. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think about it. Man. By the time I'm chewing this, I'll be like 40 years old. <laughs> Yo, I chewed it so quickly. Maybe because I'm used to it. Right? Well, I, I'm not used to it, but I'm used to eating things that are like that. Mm, okay. Actually, that's the first time I've had it too. Uh -huh. So, um, Ghanaians have this thing called chiria. Mm -hmm. Chiria is basically is the the English version is fry chew, or yeah, fry crunch, fry chew. Mm -hmm. It's just corn nuts, mm -hmm. and they're bigger. Mm -hmm. And you usually get them for a snack, but it's like think of a uh, corn, literally the corn nut, mm -hmm. and you just just keep toasting it and roasting it and then you put it into like you usually get them at funerals and stuff like that ah. but that's all and it's literally just like that yeah because they toast they toast these mm -hmm. yeah, that's I'm what sure. it's it just said in Sharia it's just in Sharia no 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 so it's just smaller exactly mm -hmm. so 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 the taste of it the taste of it to me this is the first time I actually had it the taste of it to me is like at first, because I'm living in America for so long, I'm used to like this being sweet. Like anything that looks like that is like cereal in America. So I'm used to being sweet, but it's not, not sweet. No, oh, not for you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But it's not sweet. It's like initially when you eat it, it has like a very, I don't want to say. Smoky? Smoky, yeah. Like, ooh, 
I'm loving you right now. I like food. A very smoky. I see. <laughs> you're a foodie. I'm like trying to get words out. You're like, I know exactly what, what you're saying. Is. Yeah, it's like it's like it's smoky at first, and I love that smoky taste. And then it has a hint of like salty taste. I ain't getting end. no salt because I like salt and I ain't getting none from that. Well, maybe it's not as salty as you would like, but there's a hint of saltiness to it. I feel like a hint. I feel like it got natural flavor. Yeah, but a hint of like a salty taste. I it's like, you know, okay, she doesn't agree with me. <laughs> hey, first time we disagree, <laughs> but she doesn't agree with me. But to me, it's like it has a smoky flavor, a smoky taste, and then it has like a tidbit of like just a tidbit of saltiness. And then at the end, it has like this umami flavor, which is I don't even know what that even means, but I think it means like a very neutral like, you watch a food channel. I do. And I'm using words that I don't even I know. know. You watch a food channel. They're like, um, umami is like the fifth taste. And I'm like, is it really? Because no one can really describe me what umami is. It's like a different taste that you've never tasted before. But well, what do you think about it? Cool. I feel like Golo is like, it's something that like, you, if you was like walking around and you was back home and you just need something quick to eat and stay full, you would eat just to keep off of thinking about eating something big. It, yeah, it almost reminds you of like peanuts in a way, right? Yeah. Look, this is actually made out of barley. And and it's mm. barley in different uh, uh, grains, right? Mm -hmm. And then sometimes it could also be peanuts too as well. So that's probably why inter it's interesting why you said that. And know? we have something called Burkina in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, it's Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, it was like rice flour or like like rice kind of. And then it's kind of like low-key look like tapioca. Put it with milk and sugar. I know that. You yeah. have that, and then, mm. then you have um, gare. Mm. Gare is like it's not pellets like this. Mm. It's really small. All my Nigerians, Ghanaians, like because like y'all West, y'all know what I'm talking about. Gare mm. is like white. You do the same thing, but you put sugar, milk, or you can make it into like a ball and eat it with other stuff. But like, yeah, we got another video then because we gotta. Cause we the got ones that I'm thinking of, I'm like, we don't really got snacks. Yeah, know? that's the Africans. Thing. We're not. We don't, we're not like snack people you know we got food like you got food you got food like, you don't got snacks like, right right like there's meat pie and stuff like that zero out of ten nana the queen the west african queen of all west african queens yo zero out of ten what do you give it mm, i think i give it like a three a three out of ten yeah, and I, I, I wouldn't like even in, <laughs> even in I don't I don't eat in Chiria. like I don't even eat it like when I see a party they use my mom right. like I don't I'm not a smoky chew kind of person like I like nuts but I like the honey roasted that's the most I would do ah. I'm not a really like a like I don't like that type of stuff that much okay it's, and see, it's not saying it's nasty but it's just like not for me okay I, and I, I agree I respect mm -hmm. your opinion and see it made more sense because see I'm more of a nut like person like I love almonds and like I mean I, I know I do I'm too vegan. I like I, I like but I like grains too stuff. I'm, oh, I'm not, I'm probably not a grainy person yeah, that's yeah. the thing yeah yeah and I, I, I love barley things too so for me guys what I give this is zero out of ten I give it a nine that's that vegan stuff. That's that vegan stuff too, and I'm maybe I'm biased. You know, what I'm saying I have family, but and I'm used. To, I, well, I, I I've always saw. I I have my cousin's house, my uncle's house. I saw this, but I never tried it. So this today was trying Ethiopian and Eritrean snacks. But yo, guys, <laughs> until next time, like and subscribe. Like and, and subscribe for my homies. Exactly, and follow all me on all social medias. Right, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, SoundCloud. All African Network. Yo. You want to plug your stuff in? Follow her on Instagram as well. Oh, I'm a two live on Instagram, and I'm a tweets with two s's on Twitter. Exactly. I'm gonna have both of them down here. And yo, guys, always stick together. Always learn from each other. Always love each other. All people of African descent around the whole world. So in the Caribbeans, in Africa, in Asia, in America, yo, Europe, and what continent am I missing? Australia. Yo. Always. Antarctica too. Antarctica too. I don't know if there's any My black life. people or any oh, humans up there, but yo, if you are, <laughs> we love you. If you're in the igloo, like yo, oh well, there's Aboriginal, Indigenous people up there. Yo, we love you up there in Antarctica and South, well, wherever around mm -hmm. there. And yo, guys, until next time, we out. Peace. Wow, wow, wow. One left. What's up? What's up? Hey. Oh! Shalom. What up? Hi. Hi.